Hello, I'm Rodan from Stimulsoft. Today's video will be about how to create invoice using formula fields and totals. Run the report designer and go to the dictionary tab. Click the new item button and select the new data source command. For example, I will create a new XML data source. Specify the path to XML and XSD files. Select data tables and click OK on the select data window. Drag and drop a data table to the report page. The data window will be displayed. In this window, you can select necessary data columns, change their order and set the header parameter to add the data header to the report. You can change the size of the components, expand them or narrow. Duplicate text boxes on the data band and on the header band. Call the text editor and select the expression tab. Specify formula fields to calculate the result of each row. Change the text of data headers. In this part of the video, I will apply styles for report components. Let's run the style designer and open a file with styles. You can create some new styles. Select a component and select a style using the special menu on the Home tab. Edit styles if you need it. Align some text in the components, font or borders of the components if you want to. To do that, you should go to the Properties panel and select the Event Style. After, select the style you need. Go to the Style Designer and select the Allow Use Border Sides. Click the Preview to show your report. Add the footer band to the template. Place a text box on this band and define an expression to calculate total per page. Go to the Home tab and align some text if you want to. Also, you can set the print on all pages to True. Go to the Preview to show your report. Add the report title band to the template. Add some text boxes and type some information, for example, bill 2. Align the text. In addition, you can set font, color, borders and theme color. Copy these components and type some new information, for example, address.
Also, you can define invoice number. Invoice date. and customer information. Add the report summary band to the template and some text boxes with a header of total and an expression to calculate report total. You can use many functions, but in this example I'm going to use the sum function with formula fields. Click the preview to show your report. Now you can see the invoice with title and totals per report, pages and report. You can use text format for different components in your report. For example, I am going to apply text format for report total. Select a text box with a total expression. Click the Browse button on the Home tab to call the format editor. By default, Formatting settings are used from local settings of operating system, but you can set any values of formatting parameters. For example, specify currency symbol as US dollar independently of uh, OS local. Let's go to the preview to check it. Also, you can use abbreviation to shrink the total text. Thank you for your attention. Follow the news on our social networks and subscribe to the video channel. If you still have any questions, leave your comments below or send us a request to support at Have a nice one!